This is Tasha Nicole, the entrepreneur slash tax consultant, small business specialist to entrepreneurs and individual taxpayers across the United States. Um, this is my first time going live and I don't see anybody on here yet, but it's okay. I'm going to, I'm still going to um, talk about the topics that I wanted to get on here and talk about because I'm going to save this video and share it on my other social media. Okay, so today I wanted to talk to my individual taxpayers. Like I know I talk a lot about business taxes, etc. But regardless of the business taxes, we all have personal taxes to file at the end of the day. Okay, so I want to talk about filing statuses, okay? Um, filing statuses, it's very important that you, you know, kind of do a little research or speak with a tax specialist to kind of figure out what's going to be best for your situation. So the filing statuses are single, married, filing joint, married, filing separate, head of household, and qualifying widower. Okay, now for single people, wait, let me just pull up, don't mind me, okay? Let me just pull up my notes for something because I want to tell you like what is the criteria for, okay, like single single people who are under 65 make less than 10,400, okay? Um, or you could be 65 or older and if you make under 11,950. All right, that's for single filers. Um, now, I wanted to talk a little bit about, a little bit more about single filing status because we have a lot of adult children now, right, who still live in our household, who are working and filing their own taxes. But um, there's actually a status called single, but you can be claimed by another taxpayer. And this is good for the parents and adult children to work together on that, to kind of decide what, what's going to be best. Because sometimes you have these adult children out here who work, but they don't really make enough to file a real return. Or even if they file on their own, they're not going to really get much back. So it would still be to your advantage to claim them and then have them file with a status called single, but there's a little checkbox that you indicate um, claimed by another taxpayer, okay? So that's good to know um, because you can still claim them and reap your usual benefits that you get. Now you have married filing joint, okay? First, let me also say one thing, and I'm sorry to kind of jump around, but for as far as these filing statuses go, it really depends on what you were at the end of the year, like December 31st. Like IRS really doesn't even care if you were married all year, then come September you separated and then, you know, you're, you're separated by December 31st. So you actually can still file an unmarried status even though you were married and living with your spouse until September. Um, so that's what they go by, and that's important for all of you to know. So married filing joint definitely is for people who obviously marry couples who live together, um, you know, and you're going to file your income together. Now, I understand why some people don't want to file with their spouse, because your spouse may have some issues, some tax debts or other debts, student loans, child support, whatever, that maybe IRS or the state is gonna come after. So maybe you wanna file separate. And sometimes that might be the better route to file. But I also wanna mention that filing, married filing separate, you actually lose um, a lot of, you lose some of the credits. Like when you're married filing separate, okay, you're gonna lose childcare credit. You're gonna lose earned income credit. You're gonna lose education credits. And if you also have student loan interest that you usually file, you're gonna lose that too. So, you know, you really kind of wanna sit and figure out, okay, what's gonna be the best way to go? You don't just decide, oh, I'm married and we've been living together all year, so let me file joint. It, it's not that easy. Okay, so wait, let me take a look at some other notes I have here. Um, just don't mind me. Shh, I'm on live. <laughs> no, don't go on my camera. <laughs> don't mind me, that's one of my daughters. Okay, um, all right, let's see. 
yeah, I mentioned that about the the debts and everything that you may not want to be attached to. Okay, now let me talk a little bit about head of household. Let me tell you about filing head of household because this is a lot of uh, this is something that a lot of taxpayers don't know. Um, I want to talk to my low income people right now. Okay, sometimes filing head of household is not really the best way to go. Like you might do better filing single. Okay, and still claiming your dependent and everything like that. But it might be better to file single because let me tell you something. IRS, they watch. Um, are you really counted as head of household? Like, okay, you might be covering bills and covering this and covering that. But you might not really be making enough to fully cover half the support of keeping up your dependent. So it would be better to file single, claim your dependent, You'll still get all the other benefits and credits that you usually get, such as earned income credit and child care credit and things like that. But at least you don't have to worry about them questioning you later because that's how it works. For low-income people, that's the secret. And that's what I do with some of my clients because I do have clients in different you know, income ranges, some low-income, some middle-income, some high-income. Okay, but yeah, that's the secret I do with my, my low-income clients, and that's why a lot of them don't get audited and don't get questioned, because I know that now I just told y'all a secret. You file single, still get your credits, and you don't have to worry about them questioning you later to prove that you're head of household. Okay, but head of household, yes, it is the status that you want to go with if you're single if you take care of someone else, even another adult, because that's another thing people don't know. Sometimes I get people, they come and they say, well, my brother's been living with me all year. My sister's been living with me. They're 27. But if they didn't work, yeah, you could still claim them as a dependent. Okay, so that's another thing. A lot of people don't know that. They think that just because this person is not their child, that they can't file head of household. No, if you have someone living in your house that you're upkeeping rent, utilities, etc., they're not working, yes, you can claim them. Okay, so you could still be considered head of household. Qualifying widower, obviously, you know, that relates to people who have lost a spouse throughout the year. And, um, yeah, so that's the that, that's the uh, filing status you would pick if unfortunately your spouse passed. And I think you can claim that status for like the first two years of your spouse's death, okay? And you still get a lot of um, usual credits that you would get under the other filing statuses, okay? So that's mainly what I wanted to come on here and talk about was the filing statuses. I'm gonna try to post more often and I'm gonna be sharing this video across my other social media. I am still accepting new clients, a limited number. I do service clients across the United States. Okay, if you want to visit my website, it's hargeconnections.com, H-A-R-D-G-E-C-O-N-N-E-C-T-I-O-N-S.com. Okay, you can also follow my business page on IG, where I share a lot of free business tips. It's um, at smart underscore tax underscore tips underscore for biz. And that's the number four. I'm also starting a new YouTube channel. It's in the early stages, so, you know, it's not too many videos on there right now. But you can definitely visit me over there and watch my YouTube videos. Okay, and if any of you have questions that you want addressed and answered, inbox me, DM me, email me. All right, for those of you who have my personal cell, text me. And I'm going to be sharing, you know, more information and getting on here live and, you know, just posting more content. So thank you all for watching and see you soon.